Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching for another interesting review and another uh, Hildes from Bavaria. Uh, this is from the Grüner Brauhaus located in Fürth. Uh, Fürth, which is a part of uh, Nuremberg, and uh, in Nuremberg is having the big Tuscher Brauerei. Um, and this uh, Grüner uh, Brauhaus is owned by Tuscher uh, nowadays. But uh, it's having its own history, so it, it was um, created way uh, before Tuscher bought uh, Grüner Brauhaus. So Grüner is uh, still living on, the beers are being brewed, and um, it's by Tuscher, and the beer garden and Brauhaus is still. Uh, under the Grüner name, which is a good thing uh, by Tuscher to keep the, uh, the names on the uh, Grüner beers and uh, not um, buy up anything to to uh, end it uh, to end the brand, but keep on uh, brewing the the Grüner beers. Uh, this is how the bottle looks like. And uh, as you can see, it's the thick bottle type, often used by smaller breweries in the area. Uh, Tuscher is having on their main brand the uh, other bottle shape, the taller bottle shape. But for uh, Grüna, this uh, thick bottle shape is used. Um, regarding the label, it's, to be honest, in my opinion, not the funniest label I've ever seen or the most interesting looking one. But uh, I think it's very traditional looking one. Uh, it looks like this, and here we have the back label. So all in all, very, very traditional looking and easy looking uh, more than anything. Not that hard to make a label look like this. Uh, but, um, and here is the, the cap also, of course. Grüner uh, from 1709. And, uh, of course, I'm gonna give you some information about this brewery. As always, I'm gonna start with, with some history about this brewery, uh, which I received from their website, which I will link to in the description box below, of course. Uh, 1709, first mention of a brewery in Gartenstraße in Fürth on April 11, 1709, the later Grüner Brewery. 1816, the brewery becomes the property of Martin Reuter, it used to be owned by a member of the Humbesel family. 1860, on May 3rd, 1860, the later Magistralrat, uh, 1879 to 1884, Georg Heinrich Grüner, together with his brothers Johann Georg and Johann Heinrich Grüner, who came from an um, Altdorf brewery family with Paul Grüner, acquired the brewery in Gartenstrasse from the then owners Blist and the Fischers. 1863, after taking over the business, Johann Grüner began with extensive renovation work. There was a new establishment of the uh, company with malting, brew house, fermentation and storage, cellar, machine and cold store. 1866, in spring, the new storage cellar below the brewery in, on Gartenstrasse which was near uh, completion, collapsed. After, afterwards, a new cellar complex was built on Robert Koch Straße outside the city. At the same time, the green park of the same name was created on the site. Uh, 1872, completion of the new Grüner Felsenkeller in Robert Koch Straße, construction period 1866 to 1872. 1877, a major fire in the brewery caused massive damage. 1890. Until then, the large breweries had a technical changeover to Linde's refrigeration machines. 1896. The green breweries converted into a stock corporation. 1920. After uh, inflation, Grünerbräu AG was on the upswing again. 1936. Fusion with the Zierendorf brewery. In 1935, 74% of the shares were already acquired. It was agreed in the merge agreement that the name Zierendorf will not be liquidated but will be retained. 1940, acquisition of the 
Führers at the Ice Cream Factory. After the Second World War, the Henning of Eifelboy Erlangen was taken over by Gruner AG. 1945, the US allies briefly named the Gruner Brewery the Army Brewery. From then on, it was allowed to supply the US Army. The civilian population was supplied through the Zirndorfer Brewery. 1969, the Schickedanz Group joins uh, Gruner Boy AG with 25%. 1972, complete merger with the Schickedanz Group, Patricier AG. Up to this point, the brewery continued to operate as an independent company. 1977, the brewing business is discontinued. Use of the main building between Gartenstrasse and Rosenstrasse only as a warehouse. The brewery buildings were later converted into living quarters. 2011. In September, the traditional Tuscho brewery revived the Grüner Brew. In memory of the long tradition of the cult brand, Tuscho is making a comeback in the former beer cellar from Grüner. Even today, the tasty Vollbeer is brewed in the spirit of the good old days and is reminiscent of the great Fürth beer culture, culture in the 19th and 20th century. Uh, 2014, after a three-month renovation phase, the Grüno Brauhaus in the Comedy uh, Fürth on um, Theresienstrasse opens on September 2nd. The Fürth cult beer finally has its own home, three years after its resurrection. The new variety Grüner Naturtrüb is brewed and served especially for the Grüner Brauhaus. On 2nd September 2014, the Grüner Brauhaus opened with the host Mikael Orban to the old Grüner uh, to build uh, on the inn tradition. As a specialty, Grüner Naturtrüb, Grüner Kellerbier, uh, is served exclusively in the Grüner Brauhaus. Uh, that's a little bit sad because the only beer that it's possible to get with the Grüner brand is this one. Uh, I would like to try the uh, Grüner uh, Kellerbier also, of course, but then I need to visit the uh, the beer garden uh, in Fürth because it's only served there, as far as I understand. Uh, otherwise, only this beer, the Helles, is um, the only one which is uh, brewed uh, with the Grüner brand. And also, I mentioned uh, Zirndorfer. I've been reviewing a beer from Zirndorfer before. Uh, it was their Kellerbier, and uh, that was a very uh, good brewery as well. I'm having a Landbier also from Zirndorfer, which I'm going to review in the future. So uh, please uh, feel free to look forward to that, which uh, I'm doing at least. Uh, always interesting to mention other breweries and the connection. Uh, so Grüno is having both connections to Tuscha and to Zirndorfer. Uh, both the other ones have I, have I been reviewing bears from. Of course, there will be, there will be more bears from Tuscha in the future. Also, there is a lot, uh, a few Tuscha bears that will be reviewed in the, fu in the future, as far as I know. Uh, regarding this one, the uh, Folbiahel, it's possible to read the following on our website. Uh, in the tr tradition of the Fürth cult brand, bright, tasty, and mild. At the same time, tinglingly fresh in taste and refined with a fine hint of hops. This is how the master brewer describes his character. Just like how the green beers were brewed and enjoyed the drinking back then, Grüner is a real piece of Fürth beer tradition, which luckily you can enjoy again today. The green is available in the bulbous half liter euro, euro bottle with 20 reusable crates. In the iconic quarter liter bottle, in the 24 reusable crate and in the self-cooling 10 liter KEG in regional and national beverage markets. Uh, and uh, this is how it looks like. One closer look of the label before I'm going to the tasting part. Not too long history this time. 1709 Grüner Fürth. Uh, believed, bekannt, begehrt. Vollbierhell, gebaut nach dem bayerischen Reinheitsgebot in Fürth, Bayern. Mit Grüner wird eine große Fürther Bierlegende wieder leben, lebendig, deren Ursprünge bis ins Jahre 1709 zurückreichen. Unser Grüner Vollbierhell wird ganz im Geiste der guten alten Zeit gebraut. Es ist ein echtes Stück Fürther Biertradition, die es im 
die sie zum Glück heute wieder genießen können, grüner, beliebt, bekannt, begehrt. Zutaten Brauwässer, Gerstenmalz, Hopfen, Tuscher Traditionsbrauerei in Fürth. 4.9 is the uh, alcohol volume. So, brewed by uh, Tuscher in Nuremberg, Fürth, uh, who has been uh, buying the brand and the Brauhaus Grüner and continues to, to brew the beer, which is real good thing. So, big uh, positive credit to uh, Tuscher for uh, doing this, to don't just stop, but uh, to continue to brew uh, Grüno, we need to keep the traditions. So I'm really happy that I can review this one and the always right time for a Bavarian Hellas, as I always used to mention. I've had quite many Bavarian Hellas here on the channel lately and there will be more, of course. So this one's gonna be really nice to try. Let's open this one up, the Grüno Vollbierhell. And pour it up. Really looking good, this one. So high expectations of it, of course. Um, looking beautiful this far with its white head uh, rising up above the edge. There we go. This is how it should look like, isn't it? Put the bottle right here. With a compact white foam head Rising up above the edge of the glass keeps the right taste in the glass and also quality sign real important to build up that and maintain it all the way through. Not that many bubbles, but really easy, typical for the style. Uh, pale, very very pale color of it in my opinion, looking really beautiful. Uh, let's get the aroma quite quick. Very typical for the style, fresh, mild, great balance. This is really gonna be a great thing, so high expectations of it. Let's taste it. That's something you should do uh, whilst it's still a big foam head, so let's taste Grüno Vollbierhell. Prost! Really nice. Um, as always with the Bavarian uh, Helles, this is a really great one. Um, fantastic flavor of it, great, very mild in taste, very, very typical for the style. Uh, refreshing, um, have a perfect balance of it. I really, really love this one. Um, and it's a big recommendation, of course. Grüno Vollbierhell, it's really, really great. Um, High quality of the raw materials is easy to feel, um, and um, I really guess and understand that it's loved in uh, Nuremberg and Fürth, and I'm so happy that the, the beer still lives on, uh, brewed by Tusho. Really, really nice in taste, uh, like great, great um, Bavarian Helles as it is. Is a great Vollbierhell. So, big recommendation actually. Managed to find it in Germany, in my case, of course. That's the only place where you, where you uh, can find it if you're lucky. <sighs> yeah, uh, that's the uh, Grüno. Uh, very nice uh, Bavarian Helles and uh, as I said it's a big recommendation also I hope you uh, you managed to find it because it's really nice in taste and uh, really refreshing in every way um, here's the back label as, uh, again don't know actually what more there is to say about this one um, it's a great Helles as simple as that so with that said, hope you continue to follow my channel for more interesting beer reviews. Uh, there is a lot of interesting ones that will be coming up in the future. So uh, stay tuned for that and uh, see you again in next German beer review.